kick things off because Tucked in Franklin is a new summer adventure. South Hall is a full service spa with yoga, hiking, lush rolling hills that you're looking at there, food, first class accommodations, and so much more. Yes, truly, this is a space unlike any other. South Hall offers a world class experience for anyone on their property. And as you see there, the scenery is breathtaking. Oh my goodness, it really is. Well, today we are joined by Jammery Chef Richard Jones, and we've got Jay Williams, the head beekeeper. Now, first of all, before we get to talking too much about, about the location, you brought a display with us. <laughs> Show us this bee box. So this is an observation hive uh, from, I think, the 1960s or so, and I'm addicted to beekeeping, so I want it to be on the Bee Channel all day long. <laughs> I just, and, and it entertains me to no end, and I love it, so. Okay, wow. what are the responsibilities of a beekeeper? I, I, we also asked you how many times have you been stung? I think I've been stung around five or 6,000 times. Oh. Um, and the responsibility of a beekeeper is to, you know, to foster a, a safe environment and to love your girls. I have about 10 million daughters. Um, <laughs> now, something that you said before was that you actually miss it when you don't mm -hmm. get stung. Okay, yes. that blew, blew yes. both of our minds. Yeah, when you get stung, it's literally like my coffee in the morning. It literally gives me energy, gets me going. I feel like uh, wow. I can go all day long. It's great. Wow. I miss it in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Try. Well, pretty unbelievable. They are vital to our world. That's so nice I'm glad are. that you are fostering a safe environment mm -hmm. for them. Okay, so we've got to get to this honey and cheese situation. Yes. And I'm going to turn things over to you, uh, Chef. Tell us a little bit about what this is and let's try tasting mm -hmm. some. So one of the great things we do at South Hall is a honey trio tasting. And so we have uh, multiple different honeys where we have them paired with uh, food, uh, sort of chosen by yours truly, as well as the um, wines. We have a sommelier that uh, also pairs wines with these. And of course, the, the special honey that culminates in our South Hall variety of honey. So oh I'll hand it over to Jay. He'll show you how you're gonna yes. taste this. Okay. Prepare to get sticky. Here we go, okay. you guys. Okay. okay, this is literally my favorite thing to do at South Hall. It is so much fun to show people how honey can change the longer you taste it and what you pair it with. It's really, really cool. Okay. So here's how you do a honey tasting. Grab your, your glass there. Okay. See how there's a lid on top? Yeah. I want you to take the lid off and I want you to stick your nose and your mouth in here. Take a big old hit. Mm. <laughs> See if you can hit <laughs> the floor aroma. Now grab a wooden spoon. We use okay. wooden spoons only so it doesn't taste the, uh, taint the taste. I want you to smear honey, smear honey on the sides of your glass, okay. and you're looking for like imperfections or pollen granules, you're kind of like checking viscosity. Oh, wow. Now take a small bite, don't be a hero, just take a small little bite, and tell me what you think. Mm. Amazing, you just tried what's called the champagne of honeys. It's amazing, Shit. Tupelo honey from mm. Florida. Mm -hmm. But watch what happens when Chef Richard pairs it with the right food. So okay. the pairing here is uh, I get a nice creamy texture from the honey mm -hmm. and a rich butterscotch note. And so paired with uh, toasted walnuts um, and uh, pistachio, you get this wonderful, uh, what we call the adult honey nut uh, do, cheerio Do we do experience. this first? Yeah, just okay. enjoy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then? And mm -hmm. It's like popcorn. Very well-rounded. And, and then delicious. have some more of that honey. Wow. Mm -hmm. and, and you get a great have experience. Mm -hmm. Funny. Okay. Finished mm -hmm. with a little bit yeah. of the Maldon mm -hmm. salt. Oh, that's good. It's really good. So if mm -hmm. you thought that was good, try the next one. Okay. So what is that? It's the same I may be biased. exact thing. It's a little different. I may be biased, but this is the, our South Hall honey. So this is from Tennessee. Tennessee. Take Very a good, good. hit. Um, take a good smell. And this honey Whoa, is harvested the end of the season. that smells so strong. different. Yeah. That's strong. Yeah. Very strong, very flavorful, floral. <laughs> Mix it around, smear it, just like, yep, exactly. All right, now take a taste, okay. and you're going to notice that the longer it's in your mouth, it's actually going to change flavor. Mm. So right in the beginning, you get a strong kick. That's called locust. Now, right about now, you're getting a clover sense. Oh, wow. Right in the middle, right? It's like an evolution <laughs> huh? of taste. <laughs> It's very strong. It's got a kick to it. Okay, what's this yes. little delicious biscuit? Right, and paired here we have a hot mm. apple bun. So what we say at the farm, uh, what grows together goes together. And so this is caramelized apples in a rich dough with apple jelly Gosh. glazed on top. And <laughs> it's just lightly warm. Uh, and so when it sort of steams, it really delivers a lot of the wonderful notes mm. of the South Hall honey uh, to the to oh the pa gosh. to the palate. So. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I could eat these two forever. Wow. Mm. It's a great pairing. Wow. Delicious. 
And so this is just a sample mm. of uh, one of the events that we have, but we also do um, an event called Food Fables, mm -hmm. uh, whereby um, it's the farmer tells me what uh, vegetable of the season we're going to have, wow. and then we create a, a, a food and a wine pa pairing with that, and you learn about where the origin of our food comes from. Mm -hmm. So it's really fascinating. It's sold out for this weekend, but um, if you look on our website, southalltn.com, you'll see um, in, on a, our experiences, there'll be a ways to book that um, ongoing. And so that changes like every couple of weeks, wow. depending on nice. what's coming out of the ground. That is so fun. And, and then we also the... have holiday uh, stuff coming up. Yes. So in October, we start with um, the apple celebration. And then we're also going to be moving uh, into the uh, holiday season mm -hmm. with uh, we're raising turkeys at South Hall. Mm -hmm. oh, and so we'll have fun. a Turkey 101 class, as well as a holiday um, celebration things like hostess with the mostess sort of things, <laughs> as well as ways for the kids to get involved with ginger bread decorating. Really quick, I want to talk about your spa and the rooms yes. where you can stay because we saw the outside, the rooms, whoo, absolutely stunning. And the spa mm. here is ridiculous. Yeah. It's, it's getting a lot of rave reviews. Look at that. Uh, and they, they have um, a lot of great uh, services uh, from massages and, and beautician uh, services to sound baths uh, which enable us to sort of disconnect and yeah. really um, sort of center and become very calm. And so the idea of South Hall is really in its wellness uh, program and its mindfulness and to learn where your food comes from. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can literally have an experience in the jammery and point out the window and show you where the food is grown. I'm going to say this right now. I think Local on 2 needs to do a week live from South Hall. I think we do. Sure. I think we need to make that happen. I think happen. that has to happen. Wow, like you idea. guys are amazing. Yes, I already tried so the much. third one, by the way. It's mm. really oh, I good. Gone yes. in so, this is awesome. Yeah. Yes, thank you both for joining us. Yes, yes. thank you so Anytime. much. Yes, absolutely. All right. Well, buckle up. South Hall is truly an experience for all your senses. Yes, check out their schedule and everything they have to offer at southhalltn.com. Oh, it's so good. <laughs>